You saw the title of this video, you know what we're about to talk about. Let's talk about lead generation. I want to show you step by step what a lead generation funnel looks like. If that sounds exciting to you, and it does sound exciting to me as well, then go ahead and like this video because you're gonna love it. You're not just gonna like this video, you're gonna love it. But YouTube only allows one level of hype from you as a consumer. So tap that, now let's go. If you think about a lead generation funnel, as a funnel, a funnel is a funnel, it starts really wide on top and ends at the bottom. At the top, you have the most amount of people, and then at the bottom, you have the smallest amount. And it goes from them knowing nothing about your business to them making a purchase. They travel down this funnel, and there at the bottom lies the gold. There's the money. That's what we need at the bottom of this funnel. Let's get it. So let's start with the basics. What is a lead generation funnel? A lead generation funnel is a multi-step process that leads your target audience to convert into leads. It leads them to turn into leads. It begins with you reaching out to the right people and moving them through a series of steps until they eventually become ready to purchase your product or service. So how does that work in practice? What are the different stages of a lead generation funnel? Well, just like all marketing funnels, we have three different stages, all based on how much knowledge the user has in your business. First, all you vegetarians are gonna love this one. Top of the funnel, tofu, T-O-F-U. When potential customers first come across your company, they are in what is known as the top of the lead funnel. They're up here at the top. At this stage of the buyer journey, they're just becoming aware of your product or service. Then as they move down, they enter the MoFu. You go from tofu to MoFu. As the leads move from the top of the funnel to the middle of the funnel, you keep nurturing them. This is when you show your leads white papers or eBooks if you're doing full on B2B marketing. This is also when they could be watching in-depth tutorials or course content or YouTube videos like this. If we consider you as somebody that's in a funnel, then by watching this YouTube video, you are either top of the funnel or middle of the funnel, depending on the action that you take. You are in the top of the funnel, brand new. Now, if you were to take an action, let's say you go down and you download our contract template by going to email10k.com slash contract or clicking the link down below in the description, you would then enter the middle of the funnel. You've grabbed a free download, you've grabbed a lead magnet from us, and now you're on our email list. So we can continue to nurture you with emails as we take you from MoFu to BoFu. We should make a shirt, Div. I wanna see like Tofu, MoFu, BoFu. Let me know in the comments if you want that shirt. BoFu. Lastly, there is the bottom of the funnel. At this stage, you've turned the random website visitors into leads. They are on your email list, you have their information, and now it's up to you or the sales team to convert them into paying customers. This is when you do product launches to your list or you send them to landing pages, you send them to checkout pages, you might even hop on a sales call with them and you do whatever it takes to close the deal. So that's the tofu, mofu, bofu, that's the funnel. Now, what are the questions that you need to ask yourself before making a great funnel? Number one, who is the customer? What is the type of person that you're actually targeting? For us on this YouTube channel, it's anybody interested in B2B marketing. So if you're trying to market for your drop shipping site or your Shopify site, this isn't the YouTube channel for you. But if you're trying to grow your agency or grow your SaaS, this is the perfect spot for you. So you have to decide as a business owner, what type of content are you creating? Who is the user that you want to attract? Next up, second question, where are those users easily available? For B2B, a lot of the time, the answer is email. And that's why I love cold email, because these users are sitting there at their offices, on their computers, and what do they have open? They have their email account. It's either Outlook or it's Google Workspace. They have it open and they're right there. Other places your customers might live for B2B, well, the obvious one is LinkedIn. What I found is a lot of people are on Twitter. A lot of B2B marketers are on YouTube, which is the second largest search engine. And a lot of B2B marketers are on Google, which is the first largest search engine. Some are on Facebook, some are on Instagram, 
But those two platforms for me have been better for our courses and more of the B2C style of marketing that we do. So you wanna understand where your customers are because if you find out, for instance, that all of your customers are on YouTube, you better make YouTube videos. Your cold emails aren't gonna be as effective as YouTube. Now, if you find out that your customers are all at conferences and never use their computers, then you could send all the cold emails in the world and you're never gonna reach them. You're gonna have to go to those conferences. So your funnel and what you do from a marketing point of view is completely tied to where your customers live. Then the third question you ask when building your funnel is what are you selling? A $400,000 mobile app has a much different funnel than a $9 book or a $100 course. Each one of those three have completely different funnels. If a customer is making a buying decision right now on impulse, the funnel can be a lot shorter. And in fact, it could just be cold ad to money. But if it's a much larger process, the funnel might take months, six months or years. The last software project that I sold ended up turning into a, a million dollar retainer. And we had to go on site. We had to meet dozens of people at this company. We had to go out for drinks with them. We had to meet in their offices for eight hours a day for certain days for a full on site to make this happen. That is a very long and very involved funnel, but you get the money at the end. So it's a seven figure deal. You really got to put the time in versus something like IC Framework, which is our course for Indian freelancers, which we can sell on the first ad. Somebody sees the ad, they see that it's for Indian freelancers, they think I'm an Indian freelancer, oh, it's only 2,000 rupee, all right, I'm gonna buy. So very different funnel for very different products. The stages of a lead generation funnel work to guide prospects through the sales process, moving them closer to conversion with each step. And if you're already tracking your leads, then you can create a lead generation funnel to visualize where your leads are dropping off. It can be as simple or as complex as you want. If you look at the way that we do lead attribution for Lead Shark, for instance, you can see that underneath this video, there's a special deal for Lead Shark. Anybody who wants B2B leads from us can get 200 leads for only $9. But if you click that link, you'll see that the link is go.leadshark.com slash YouTube. Now, if you make a purchase, and a bunch of you have, and I'm very grateful for that, that you like the product, if you make a purchase, we see on our back end that somebody from YouTube has made a purchase. That's attribution. Now on our Twitter, on LeadShark Twitter, the link is go.leadshark.com slash, you should bleep it, blur what it is. We all know what it is, we'll just blur it because I only want Twitter buyers to see that. So for instance, now we can track, if I'm looking at my Slack sales notifications and I see 40 are coming in from YouTube, and none are coming in from Twitter, I'll know that our Twitter strategy needs to change. Or if 40 are coming in from Twitter and none are coming in from YouTube, I know that our YouTube strategy needs to change. It's all about attribution, similar for cold email. We use the custom links so that we can track the deals that we're sending via not just cold email as a whole, but even certain email campaigns. All of that can be tracked, all of that can be attributed down so that we can get that final number. Because as you're optimizing your funnel, the actual numbers are all that matter. We don't care about likes, we don't care about subscribers, we don't care about clicks or views or anything like that. All we care about at the end of the day is that number. Clicks, views, subscribers, comments, all of that can work as lead measures, they can work as predicting what's gonna happen, but at the end of the day, all that matters to grow a business is sales. And non-attributed sales are worthless because how can you improve if you don't know where your sales are coming from? So you wanna map your customer journey. The first step to understand the path your prospects take on their way to becoming customers. At what points do they encounter your brand? Where do you have the opportunity to engage them? You wanna be clear on all of that. Then you create great content. Once you know where your prospects are at all of the different stages, you can create content that is relevant and helpful at each stage. This will increase the number of people who move farther down the funnel. And remember, content marketing means creating helpful content, not just promoting yourself. One of my biggest hobbies is figuring out how to integrate products into videos in natural ways. As you noticed, I talked about Lead Shark earlier. You might have even purchased Lead Shark there, but the whole video is not about Lead Shark. I'm teaching you lead generation. See, that's a skill. Product placement is a skill. They don't teach this in school. Then the next step is to drive traffic. Your content will only work if people see it. You'll need a great website, 
landing pages, and a social media presence so that you can be found by prospects at all stages of the buyer journey. These are places where people will find you and your content, and then they'll start moving down the funnel. Like I said before, if they find us on Twitter, they're going to buy via Twitter. They're going to look at our tweets. They're going to go through. If they find us on YouTube, they're going to watch our YouTube videos before converting, downloading the lead magnets, et cetera, and moving down the funnel. Then you're going to collect prospect information. If you're going to nurture leads through the sales process, you'll need to know who they are, and how to contact them. Be sure that every piece of content has a call to action that tells people what to do next. That's how you push people through the funnel. You look at a tweet, then you look at the bio. The bio has a free download. Now you download the free download. Now the free download sends you to an email list, which then sends people to a product page. The product page then sends people to a checkout. That checkout then asks for credit card and they submit the purchase. They are held by the hand every step of the way as they're guided through the funnel. You are the one in charge. If you're running a sales process, you are the one in charge. You can't expect the customers to seek out the buy button if it's too hard to purchase. They're just gonna go with somebody else that makes it easier to purchase, even if their product is worse. Then you close the sale. Once you have the lead information, you can then ask for the credit card information and you make it happen, you get that money. If you want more leads for your business, then you have to check out leadshark.com. It is a lead database that has millions of verified contacts for people all over the B2B industry. So you can go in there and get cold email ready leads with a 0% bounce rate guarantee. Meaning if you send to a lead and it bounces, Leadshark will give you five leads for free because you deserve better. There are too many lead generation databases out there where you download 100 leads and 60 of them bounce. It's not cool. So we got that bounce rate guarantee and there's a special offer for you being a viewer of our content. If you want 200 B2B leads for only $9, then click the link in the description, go.leadshark.com slash YouTube, and I'll see you inside of Leadshark. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.